guys, I'm Mike. And this is the great outside. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we do reviews that are not in the backyard. So let's get started with that right away. Uh, Fox Alley Outdoor Gear bug net for your favorite hammock is 12 feet long, which means it's kind of gigantic. So we're gonna take a look at it at this very second. Uh, it comes with its own string. This isn't the exact one. Um, I, I have a bag full of them at home, so forgive that. So I'm gonna go ahead and string this up real quick. Um, it's gonna be ugly, so you're probably not gonna wanna see that. And then I'll bring you back and we'll attach this. All right, so now we've got our line up. The line that it does come with has two hooks on either end, which this does not. So that's gonna make it significantly easier and quicker for you. So, attached stuff sack. You've probably seen attached stuff sacks on just about all your hammocks, etc., etc. So let's get it all the way out. Try not to get it on the ground. We know our zipper's this way now. And I've got an end here. So I'm, it's kind of like a sock or a sleeve. Just work your hand all the way through it. It can be a little bit ridiculous the first couple times. And I really like the mesh. The mesh is good and uh, strong. It feels tough, you know? Where the world is it? <laughs> yeah, see? Here it is. All right. All right. All right, so what you're gonna do is undo your hammock. Just grab this with one hand. You see I got my hand all the way through. Just grabbing my suspension. It doesn't matter which one you have. Just slide this all the way over, like so. Reattach wherever you had it. I think I had it on the second one here. Good enough for this purpose. You don't need this thing to be tight. It can be attached to your line or you can attach it right to your trees or your, uh, your tree straps, I should say, or to the trees. And you just cinch each side up. Bring it across. Cinch this one. And then just clip these up onto here and it just keeps it just a, a bit off. So this is basically what the picture is supposed to look like. It works great. Um, a lot of times, well, every time since I started using it, I don't really use the line on top. I put a ridge line on my hammock, but this is for this purpose, so I left it off. My hammock doesn't actually come with a ridge line. And, uh, this is about exactly where you want it. So I'm going to hop in and show you real quick, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. It's hard to get in and out of. It's got two zippers. Each zipper has two ties, so you can zip it from inside and out, which is nice. It's hard to do one-handed. I think I'm sitting on it. Whew, there we go. Pop the shoes off so we can really get in. And uh, we'll just spread her out here. I do like not having it attached. You can <clears throat> kind of keep stuff down there. But boy, is this... It really is a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I can see why some people would prefer this. If they don't like a ridgeline or don't like the feel of a ridgeline. Because basically when you're in it like this, it just feels like a, the same hammock. One of the best things about using this is that there's no zipper so if you want to cross your leg over and just chill like that you're still protected by the net your foot's protected everything's protected uh, but you don't have to drape your legs over that uncomfortable zipper that's one definite advantage like i said this is one pound not bad but the construction is really tough everything's nice and clean it's not bad at all uh the zippers i don't think they're ykk let me check for you I doubt it. No, they're not, but they're perfectly fine. And uh, I like it. It's, it's not a bad 
bad piece of gear at all if you need this kind of thing um you know if you're if you're looking to get into something for the first time i would really suggest getting one that's a half zip possibly double zip but you're just adding weight at that point and uh this ultralight hammock is no longer ultralight when i have to use this with it i don't use it that often but right now the cicadas just came out as you can tell i'm sweaty because it's hot there's bugs everywhere so this is definitely something that i'm bringing in my pack when i use this particular hammock um, i've got hammocks with attached bug nets but i really like this hammock and i'm testing it out right now anyways not bad at all if you need one it is a 12 feet long so it'll fit just about anything and if you set it up right don't set it up too high you have enough room where you can stretch almost all the way out i mean it starts to get to where you know it's not that wide but it's pretty damn wide so it makes it plenty roomy you know not bad yeah good piece of gear so if you're interested in this uh i'll leave a link below and you can get it on amazon it's amazon's choice i paid 23 dollars for it give or take a dollar um it that is in uh, march of 2021 so anytime after that if it costs more that's on you but that's what i paid for it march 2021 on amazon amazon's choice 23 dollars hope you enjoyed the review um like and subscribe if you want if you like reviews that are not in the backyard because i can't stand that personally and um you have a great day go outside <laughs> it's it's really easy and uh you, you know you won't regret it find find somewhere that's beautiful to go and uh go there and enjoy yourself you have a wonderful day and i'll see you again soon